The Dunkin' Donut is one of the most revered pastries in the United States, and one of the most iconic donut chains is the Dunkin' Donuts. The donuts have also been a classic in TV shows, from the stereotypes of cops eating donuts to the giant donut hanging above the entrance of donut shops. It has definitely been a major feature of pop culture. Today, it offers baked and coffee products all over the world, and its menu is made up of premium baked goods and beverages, as well as breakfast sandwiches. Today on Need for Knowledge, we go behind the scenes to see how Dunkin' Donuts are made, with a review on which products they sell the most. Donuts are a fried ring or globule of sweet dough that is either yeast or chemically leavened. The dough is mixed and shaped, dropped in hot oil, fried, and glazed. However, the ingredients vary depending on whether they are yeast or chemically leavened. Chemically raised donuts are made with flour, baking powder, salt, liquid, and varying amounts of eggs, milk, sugar, shortening, and other flavors. This type of donut uses baking powder in the batter to leaven the dough. On the other hand, yeast leavened donuts are made with ingredients that include flour, shortening, milk, sugar, salt, water, yeast, eggs, or egg white and flavoring. Chemically raised donuts are made with baking powder and are generally dense and cake-like. They are easily and quickly made. Yeast raised donuts, leavened by the creation of carbon dioxide resulting from yeast fermentation, are lighter in texture than chemically raised donuts and require several hours to produce. The history of donuts is believed to come from the 18th century Dutch of New Amsterdam, where they were referred to as oleikoeks, meaning oily cakes. They were a great favorite at Midwest and Northwest lumbering camps as they were easy to make and full of calories needed to provide quick energy for laborious logging jobs. A Russian immigrant named Levitt invented the donut machine in 1920 that automatically pushed a donut-shaped ring directly into the fryer. This machine made donuts a hit at the 1934 World's Fair and remarkably increased the production of donuts. Dunkin' Donuts LLC, also known as Dunkin', is an American multinational coffee and donuts quick service restaurant and company. Dunkin' Donuts is a global retailer of coffee and bakery products, which is 99% franchised and has used the franchising system as a route of market entry and expansion worldwide. All of the company's revenue comes from licensing its brand, which means it doesn't own any of its store locations worldwide. Rather, it concentrates on innovating its menu, advertisements, and providing coaching support to its stores. The original historical roots of the company are in the United States, and despite its international expansion since the 1970s, the U.S. market has continued to serve as a testing ground for new innovations before international rollout. There are over 11,300 Dunkin' Donuts restaurants worldwide, with about 8,500 found in the United States. There are about 18 flavors of Dunkin' Donuts that can be bought at a Dunkin' Donuts shop in America. If you have a sweet tooth or just a curious mind, stick around while we peel back the curtains and show you how these donuts are made. You can expect to see at least 22 classic flavors of Dunkin' Donuts all year round at your most convenient location. Dunkin' Donuts come in different sizes, colors, and flavors. It generally takes about nine months to make a new Dunkin' Donut recipe. New recipes are basically built on existing donut recipes, so as to not mess with the basic cooking process. It is crucial to carefully measure each ingredient and make sure the temperature and cooking times are exactly the same to produce as similar as possible donuts and wavering in quality and taste. About 20 nominated chefs, bakers, and food technologists test the donuts and new recipes before they are released to the general public. Having a 68-year-old history, the secret recipe of Dunkin' Donuts hasn't changed since it was first created way back in the 1940s. Most locations across the country still make all of their donuts fresh every single morning from a back-of-the-house kitchen, and the ones that don't make fresh donuts receive newly made rings from a nearby central kitchen very early in the morning. The result is fluffy, warm, evenly coated donuts that would leave you in awe at every single bite.
To make Dunkin' Donuts, cake donut mix and water are measured proportionally and mixed thoroughly together, and the batter is left to rest for it to rise. After the batter is rested, you load up a dispensing hopper with the batter, which then pours and cuts rings of batter evenly into a giant vat of hot oil kept consistently at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The cut donuts are left to fry for 45 seconds on one side. Then, every single donut is flipped in less than 10 seconds before letting the other side fry for another 45 seconds. The donuts are eventually ready and move on to the next stage. Glazing. These donuts are placed on a rack and passed through a glazing machine, which is evenly spread on each donut. Since 1950, Dunkin' Donuts has been known for its dozens of donut flavors, including the classic glazed and Boston cream. The top 17 ranked Dunkin' Donuts flavors are strawberry frosted, blueberry glazed, chocolate butternut, old fashioned, powdered, Bavarian cream, coconut, maple, vanilla frosted, vanilla cream, chocolate cream, jelly, apple fritter, Boston cream, French cruller, glazed, and chocolate frosted. Dunkin' Donuts sells more coffee than donuts, and about 60% of the company's sales come from its beverages. Though the donut is still part of their menu, it's believed that people see it as more as a treat or as a result. When most people think about pastries, they think of fattening food, comfort food, or whatnot. However, they are quick snacks to replenish your energy on the go. The history of Dunkin' Donuts dates back to 1946 when a young businessman named William Rosenberg opened an industrial luncheon service that provided food and snacks to Boston area factory workers. The company's success and the fact that 40% of its business came from coffee and donuts inspired Rosenberg to open a coffee and donut shop in Quincy, Massachusetts in 1949. He called this shop Open Kettle, but two years later, he eventually changed the company's name to what is popularly known today as Dunkin' Donuts. In 1955, Rosenberg signed his initial franchise agreement, allowing others to operate Dunkin' Donuts stores, and the first overseas store, located in Japan, was opened in 1970. Their largest store has 130 seats and was opened in Bangkok, Thailand in 1988. As of 2002, Dunkin' Donuts offered 52 varieties of donuts, selling approximately 6.4 million of them each day. Sales came from over 12,900 Dunkin' Donuts outlets in 42 countries, making it the world's largest coffee, donut, and bagel franchise in the world. There is no top company in the world without competitors, and this is the same for Dunkin' Donuts. There are many other similar companies that compete with Dunkin' Donuts for customers including companies such as Starbucks, Krispy Kreme, McDonald's, Subway, Yum! Brands, and Dutch Bros Coffee. The total revenue of all the mentioned companies in 2019 was $78.383 billion. They specialize in making delicious treats, and many of these companies have been in business for a long time. A few have even been in business longer than Dunkin' Donuts, like Krispy Kreme, which was founded in 1937, 13 years before the founding of Dunkin' Donuts. Few of them are well known for their donuts, and Dunkin' Donuts' biggest rival is Starbucks. Do you go to Dunkin' Donuts for the coffee or the donuts? Leave your answer in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this episode of Need for Knowledge, and we will see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for new videos.